Hey folks, Manoli here. Uh, this is a quick video to show you how to set up Ninjam, a system that allows you to play with uh, all this online uh, while staying uh, synchronized. I'm working on a Mac, but most of these instructions will work on Windows systems as well. There's more instructions and information about his past and how to use the standalone system, but easiest way to do it is via Reaper that is included as a VST. If you don't have Reaper, uh, go on the website, you can download it for free for a 30 day valuation. So let's go on Reaper and see how Ninjam works. So in Reaper, a new project, I'll double click on the empty side on the left to add a new track. From that, I'm gonna go on to my Media Explorer, add a very simple drum sample, uh, there we go. So uh, I'll hold down command and double click, so it's uh, looped. So from here, now I've got one sound that I'm ready to stream and share with other players online. How will go about doing that? So uh, from the view menu, I'll open up my master track and I'll go on my effects pane. And I'll search for Ninjam and add it on the master track. So this is a Ninja interface now. You can see on the top we have a master volume, a fader for the metronome, and then this is a local channel. This is essentially what we're going to be streaming out. This empty space on the right is where other users will appear and their controls. And at the bottom we have the interval counter, which is essentially your latency. So Ninja is able to stream out and receive audio following a period of latency. That latency is based on musical terms, so on bits per interval. So let's go and see how that works by looking at some active servers. So we're pressing connect at the top and we're bringing up the server list. Now, on the first column, we have the name of the server. Then the second is the BPM, so the tempo of the server in bits per minute, and 16 which is the bits per interval. This is essentially your latency. So let's connect to see it in practice. So now we see that the tempo of this server is 120 BPM and we see the interval being counted at the bottom. So that will be 16 bits per interval or four bars. So those four bars is your latency. Whatever you're hearing coming into Ninja from other users is delayed by four bars, and whatever you're playing out towards other users, that's also going to be delayed by another four bars. So let's go and see on another server. Say 80 BPM, 32 bits per interval, and the six players currently in the server. So let's join that. And here we have all the different people. So that's 32 BPI, so that will be eight bars. And uh, following this round, I should be able to hear what each play is streaming. So I'm getting some sound just from one channel here. All the user streams. Uh, they have their own volume control, their own panic control, mute, solo, and you can stop receiving it altogether, quite like what you have in your default channel. Sometimes users will have two channels, just like this one here, and uh, you can create that by going on Add Local Channel, where you can set different inputs from Reaper's main channel. So I'll just quickly play... Um, Gonna delete that because I don't need it. I'm just quickly gonna play my drums out, see if I can get someone to jam along with me. And I'll do that by first going on the sync button and setting project tempo. Then I'll go and set loop at edit cursor. As you see, this will set the same interval BPIs that the service set at. So in my case, I'm going to have it because my drum loop is shorter. And I'm going to go sync, start Reaper, playback on the next loop. And there we go.
So while I'm hearing this now, the other user will hear it only after the end of this current interval. And we can see here one user has joined in. So I think I might be a bit loud, so I'll turn down my inputs and maybe pan two of them, maybe the left and right. And I'll stop it at the end of this interval. There's a few options for Ninja as well. You can access them by the file menu and preferences. Make sure you highlighted the Ninja interface window rather than Reapers. It gives you a different menu. So in preferences, you can save multi tracks and you can save which folder. Now these are going to be saved as OGG Orbis files, which is a compressed file. It's fairly good quality, but it's still compressed. If you want to uh, save uncompressed WAVs, you have to check this and they will appear in this folder. Obviously it will be larger files but with better quality. And this is a, a way to join with other players online on existing servers. Next part of this video shows how to set up your own server. To set up the Ninjam server, there's a few things you need to do. There's a guide you can follow here on cocos.com, Ninjam server guide, and it gives you some information on how to set up your own server, but I'll show you what's the fastest way of doing it. So firstly, you need to go and download the server, which is on this page. And then you need to adjust your own firewall settings. So going into your hub, um, go Virgin Hub, um, your provider will have a similar page. Uh, you need to go Advanced Settings, Security, uh, then Port Forwarding. This is because Reaper to create a server it needs to have a default port to listen to. And that's what we're going to try and do here. So we're going to go and create new rule. Now it's going to ask for a local IP. You can find that by going on Network Preferences. Uh, this is your IP here. So you want to enter the last digits here. And then set up the port number. So the default port number for Ninjam is 2049. So we're going to go 2049 on all these, your interface might be different depending on what was your internet provider, but they should be all something similar to this. So choose both protocols, enable and add rule. Uh, you should have a confirmation that that port was created and is enabled. Okay, now uh, let's go on open Ninjam. I've downloaded the Ninjam server on my desktop. Uh, this is it gives you an example server and I created my new server. I'll show you quickly the differences between the two. So this is the one that comes with it and this is the one I created here. And again, information for all these are available on here on this website, what every, everything means. So to see here, the main difference is, is I've allowed anonymous users in comparison to the original. And I've also limited the max amount of users to four instead of 10. And also, we don't. We can have a little more control. And also, I've changed here the default BPM to 105 instead of 120. Uh, the bit per interval to 16 instead of 8. So once you made these configurations, you want to save this file. And by the way, these files are CFG, but you can open them with uh, any text editor. And that's the same both for Mac and Windows. So once you've made all your changes and you're happy with that, click save. And then you want to go on your terminal. And first you want to locate where your server folder is located. You can find that from going to info and copying this. 
Uh, for me, I'll do it quickly because I've already entered a few times by pressing the up arrow twice on this for my location. I click enter and then this is how I start the server and that's by typing dot forward slash ninja SRV and then the name of the saved server configuration in which my case is new server.cfg as it is here and I will click enter. So now my server has started up and is listing on port 249 and my default is 105 BPM 16 bits per interval. So let's go back on Reaper. The next question is how do we find this server? So it's not available on our connection list. Now to do that you will go on what's my IP on Google you will copy that, go back on Reaper, enter this information here and connect. As before, agree to the license agreement, accept and now you're connected to your own server. And how you get to other people to connect is again the same way. You give them this IP address um, because the pr privileges are that anonymous users can connect they should be able to connect the same way you did so if we get now my friend Joe to connect uh, you can see that while he's connecting you can actually see the information coming up here the IP address and have been accepted so if we go back on Ninjam's interface you can see that there's been a channel appeared for his input so I'll start playing by syncing Reaper So this is now where they're going to start listening your audio again after the first interval. And likewise I can hear his guitar playing. And as before, I can adjust how loud my elements are, how loud the other use elements are, the panning, and in case if I'm playing a live instrument, I can bring up my metronome to make sure I'm keeping in time. I'll stop it now. So this is how to set up your own server on uh, Ninja. Uh, another thing to bear in mind is if you want to terminate, if you want to stop that connection, obviously you can go and disconnect from here. Uh, but the server will keep running until the restart of your machine. So from terminal, there's no much you can do here. So the easiest way I found it is by going to Activity Monitor scrolling down to ninja server and quitting application and you see that pretty much immediately disconnected from host and that will prevent some conflicts down the line if uh, you just stop the terminal and try to reinvent try to return to that it will not accept it will say you could not listen to that port so hope this is helpful and Best of luck with your online jams.